Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web. We are here for Pump Up the Volume with Maximilian Wiedemann. There you go. Yes. That's and, it. And you are a... Oh, wait. you got to introduce a lovely lady There you go. To you. Most importantly. And this is... Mrs. Caprice. Caprice. How do you fit into uh, Max being here at the gallery opening in... Well, actually, the United States. There you go. Well, I just I just flew in from London about four hours ago because he painted a Vogue, uh, one of the Vogue uh, paintings of me. Of you? Yeah, there you go. We'll we go there in a minute. That one too. Yes, but uh, you know, Caprice is a good friend of my partner, and uh, you know, I like to paint people that we know and that that uh, we're documenting. The art is documentation. And uh, it's, it's, you know, LA is a perfect playground to, to do magazine covers, portrait the vanity, media hungry society, and it's an honor to have Caprice here. And it's like what Andy did, you know, he shot like uh, his iconography, but what I'm doing is I'm documenting my day and age, and uh, I love Caprice, I love what she's doing, I think she's one of the icons of these days. And, you know, it's my pleasure to be here with her and to show LA what we're doing here. Well, that is phenomenal. Now, I'm looking at this big cross in back of you. Because uh, out of all of the art that's here at the gallery, you selected this piece. Yes. Why? Well, it's funny that you know we're standing here because um, it's it's an important statement. I find well because the religion in this in this city is television. So that is the cross. And if you read the letters, it says the better you look, the more you see. So that is the unfair thing about vanity. And it is what actors do. They look good. They have to take care of themselves. And you know, if you want to move on in this business, you you better be looking good. You, I mean, that's the unfair thing. But this shows about the satire. You know, I want people to look at the real values in people. I want people to just not look like at life that they have to be rich. It shows status symbols, flash. You know, this is a very fast-moving world we're living in, and uh, this cross just symbols the irony of the world that we're living in. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a statement that. I want people to just dig a little bit deeper. I don't want people just to go with, with like the mass pulling uh, uh, attraction, like TV stars. I want people to reflect on the real values of people, and that's why I take Vogue magazine covers into irony, uh, the cross uh, close to the garden heels. Uh, these are things like fashion has become religion. You know, I don't know how often you go into church, but I do it every Christmas if I'm not too drunk. Yeah. Does that make you a holiday Catholic? Yes, it definitely does. I'm a holiday camper. And um, yeah, it's just it's just the perfect time and the perfect place to collaborate with Tyler Shields. And uh, I'm honored to be here. And um, you'll see a lot more of us coming in. Well, I've just been looking around. And I have to say, and from other peers of mine, one word is phenomenal. Gracias. Um, let's put it like this. I came here. Uh, with two bags and Fabian was quite uh, you know daring he didn't know me he just pulled me in and said look come get your stuff over here we'll do it he's given me his gallery he said bars open do what you want and he's the one who's kind of setting a European artist in here solo show I think there must be much more European influence in here and um, thank you for your compliment I'm very happy to to show this because it shows actually the variety of what we're doing neons you've got screen prints you've got installations you've got magazine covers I painted that picture until seven o'clock in the morning for Caprice and I I went into a back spasm that day and so it better be good that it piece you know I I, I I broke my back for Caprice but she's gonna fix it as well am I right darling <laughs> yeah. yeah now I have to say I do see the influence of Warhol there it is artwork. and who are some of the other major artists that have influenced you um, the other uh, other influences are daily life to be honest with you I have Andy I have Banksy I have uh, yeah. uh, Richard Prince and to be honest with you it might sound a little daring but I'm taking what it Andy did into a graffiti and urban art context yeah. and I'm adding text so that's the third dimension and you know if Andy did like uh, screen prints of dollar signs and Campbell soup cans I do screen prints of, of champagne bottles that don't write Dom Perignon but they say boredom because maybe if you're rich you won't be the happiest person in life either. Some people you know wear Rolexes but relax you don't have to just try and impress all the time so I'm taking status symbols, iconography like Andy but I'm adding a little let's say um, satire into it which I, I understand as 
humor and I want people to enjoy art. I want people to look at this as a form of a movie, as a form of entertainment that you can look at and laugh and enjoy a drink and, and have a good time and enjoy con contemporary art. And if Andy were here right now, what would you tell him? The 15, the days of 15 minutes of fame are over. It's 15 seconds of fame now. Thanks to you, Andy. <laughs> and I'd love to ask you about two pieces of art here. The first one, of course, is the coffin over right, there. Right, right. And the second, of course, we have to see... The, the yeah, I want to show you a couple of... You don't have to say it. But no, but, uh, oh, you, we have to. You're here. He's here. No, but, you know, the thing is, um, like Andy, he, he, he kept his friends very closely. Caprice and I know each other from, you know, whenever we're in the same city, we see each other, we have a chat. But it was important for me to, to bring her here because she's a part of the family. I like to, to, you know, show that kind of form of integrity and uh, celebrate our movement. It is a movement. I have a lot of support. This is my way of documenting this. And um, the... Um, the thing is that I believe that the way you know graffiti has evolved is an, is an amazing movement. It is the movement of this century. Yeah. And you know I'm combining screen prints, and the coffin is all about what we put into our body. It's amazing uh, how many people we have in LA just cutting their face, um, putting pills into their bodies, uh, guns. There are condoms in there. All the cigarettes I smoked during this show. So what you put in is what you get out, you know, that's the way. So here we are, because uh, Caprice is like uh, a multi-talent, you know, she's got her own lingerie line. So you see the, 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 the um, relevance, boudoir stars, la vie en pose. Uh, it's not the vie en rose, so it's the posing. Uh, undressed to impress. And uh, those are things that relate to Caprice. So I always like to bring relevance into the art pieces. And Caprice, I... I'm curious, when he told you he wanted to do a painting with you in it, how did you feel? How did I feel? I was honored, of course. And the irony of it, this is so iconic. I mean, I've, I've been very fortunate. I've done it over 350 covers in my career. But this is something that actually... That covers all of those. No, this is even more. This is something that I'm... That I'm it's an honor more even than the covers. And the irony is my first cover was a cover of a book. <laughs> Did he know that? Yeah. So uh, this is this is spectacular. He's amazing. He's such a he's such a great talent. I might say that if you would uh, if you've see, I know you guys in LA. You haven't seen much of me yet, but the uh, evolution of the Vogues is uh, like right now is the best, and uh, it's just the splashes that have come in now, and I'm I'm really happy that the best piece I think was the which is the the daringness of these splashes, which is going to be my signature piece, and I'm. I'm really happy it just happened with Caprice, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a momentous piece for me. Well, Max, Max, Blaine, I think we've gotten the uh, Time's Up clue. Good, I love it. I know, so people want to catch up with you on the internet, exactly. where's the best place to go? Uh, it's it's uh, imitatemodern.com, maxviedemann.com, and uh, you know, don't know me, Google me. Right, thank you.